Everyone, so good to see you. Welcome to Crunchy News at Noon. I'm Laura Papetti, and we begin by going right outside. We want to get right to it with weather. We are tracking a chance of some thunderstorms, so today's weather may have an impact on your plans. We'll get to meteorologist Thomas Patrick. Yeah, good afternoon, Laura. You know, today's weather is still going to feature some scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms, but those that get hit with any rain, Note this, it's going to be some heavy rainfall. I definitely felt that firsthand standing right here just before 8 a.m. It might not last for long, but any rainfall today is going to be heavy. And there are your scattered showers in the past six hours, just meandering across the inland northwest. But any sunshine at times today is going to help to energize the atmosphere and produce even stronger showers and the potential for thunderstorms later on. As we zoom in on Doppler radar, there are your showers moving through Deer Park, getting the most of it right now. All the trajectory is towards the north and northeast as we find ourselves with a little bit of a clearing spot, especially over Spokane Valley and Liberty Lake. But the more sunshine you get today actually makes it more likely that the thunderstorms will get rolling later on. Also look at this area between Ritzville, Davenport, Sprague and Airway Heights. A little bit of some shower development to the west of Spokane here. So realize that these showers will be popping up in the heat of the day. And I think later this afternoon is when they could be at their strongest. There's this marginal risk for severe weather for some areas of North Idaho and then into Montana. So the severity isn't fully there over Spokane and the chances is a little lower, but some areas in the inland northwest will get hit with some decently strong thunderstorms into this afternoon. So that's what we're watching for mainly after about four in the afternoon. But of course, we'll be tracking Doppler radar minute by minute, show you where some of those strongest shower or thunderstorm cells are going to be popping up. We'll have another look at your forecast in about 15 minutes here. Thomas, thank you. We do have a traffic alert for you at noon. Right now, an overturned semi is blocking traffic along eastbound 990 near Cheney. You can see the truck on its side and bags of soil spilled alongside the road. Washington State Patrol reporting there were no injuries in the crash. Traffic is getting by on the shoulder, but drivers headed through the area should slow down and do be prepared for backups. We'll keep you updated on that. After weeks of testimony, closing arguments are happening now in former President Donald Trump's so-called hush money trial. Astrid Martinez has the very latest from outside the courthouse. Mr. Trump, how are you doing us today? Former President Donald Trump arrived at the Manhattan courthouse ahead of closing arguments in his historic criminal trial. We'll see how it goes. This is a very dangerous day for America. It's a very sad day. Inside, his defense team told jurors the prosecution's star witness, Trump's former fixer, Michael Cohen, could not be trusted, saying he took an oath. He swore to tell the truth, and he told you a number of things on that witness stand that were lies, pure and simple. Under the federal law, I did nothing wrong. Trump is charged with 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. Prosecutors argue it was part of a scheme to subvert election law by concealing a repayment to Cohen for hush money paid to adult film star Stormy Daniels ahead of the 2016 presidential election. Jury deliberations could begin as soon as tomorrow. Juries convict on circumstantial evidence all the time. In fact, there often is not the type of evidence, smoking gun evidence, that one would want. As he has done throughout this trial, Trump again claimed this morning that this case is the result of campaign interference by President Biden, his political rival. Outside the courthouse, the Biden campaign pushed back. We're here primarily because of the threat that Donald Trump poses to the United States of America and to our democracy. In a sign of how significant today's proceedings are, three of Donald Trump's children, Donald Jr., Eric and Tiffany, joined him in court for closing arguments. Astrid Martinez, CBS News, New York. If he is found guilty, Trump would be the first former president convicted of a crime, and each charge carries a punishment of up to four years in prison. It is coming up on 12.05 right now, and happening today, drivers could face traffic backups on Wellesley Avenue between Market and Freya Streets as a major construction project is getting underway. Creme 2's Brandon T. Jones has a closer look at that closure and how you can get around it. So with this new closure, city officials and watchdog crews are asking drivers to plan ahead of time and be prepared for a high traffic impact area. 
That closure officially begins today and will last until June 28th. Contractor crews will close Wellesley Avenue between Market Street and Freya Street, northbound lanes on the North Spokane Corridor between the Wellesley Ave Interchange and the Freya Street Interchange will also be closed. Additionally, Haven Street is reduced to one lane southbound between Columbia Avenue and Rockwell Avenue. With all of that in mind, you may have to get out of the house a bit earlier if you drive this direction or use the route. Here's a couple of options. For westbound, you can head over westbound on Trent Ave or Sprague Ave, and then eastbound, you can also get on Trent Ave or Sprague. The city also has additional detour options listed on their website, and then also still ahead for construction season. Next week, a new project will begin between North River Drive and Spokane Falls Boulevard, where southbound lanes will be closed on Washington Street. That project will officially begin on Monday, June 3rd. But for now, reporting here in Spokane in the Hillier neighborhood, Brandon T. Jones, Crim2 News. And we do have another closure to tell you about. Part of the Children of the Sun Trail closed today for construction. Crews will be putting in a permanent barrier, lighting, and a staircase on the pedestrian bridge crossing the North Spokane Corridor at Garland Avenue. All bicycle and foot traffic will be rerouted to Euclid Avenue during the closure. Construction is expected to be finished coming up June 21st. We'll keep you updated. And this is coming in new at noon. It is official. The Seattle Kraken have named a new head coach. Just about an hour ago, the team introduced Dan Bilesma. I'm thankful for the opportunity for the moment to be now, and I think it's with a with good people and a good organization and with good players. And, and uh, for me, it was a, a great fit for, for this to be the next opportunity for me. All right, Bilesma steps up to the Kraken after coaching the team's minor league affiliate. He also has plenty of experience in the NHL, including winning the Stanley Cup with Pittsburgh in 2009. So if you are a Kraken fan, and many of you are, Krem 2 is the spot to watch next season. We're going to be showing 70 games. Krem is very excited to be offering this live sports coverage to all of our viewers. We are waiting on next season's schedule to drop before we can share which Kraken games you'll be able to see on Krem, KSKN, and other Tegna-owned local stations. So again, we'll keep you updated on everything Kraken.